Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. We're at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California. And I'm with Josh from Focal. Hey, Josh, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Yeah. Bright and early. Feeling good? You guys good? Yeah, moderate. Moderate. Fair to middling. <laughs> it'll get better. It'll get better. Yeah, well, it'll get better when you tell me about the thing that you're leaning on, which looks yeah. immense. This is some of your one of your new products at the show today. Yeah, so it's been a, it's been a long time coming. Focal, um, the Solo 6, Twin 6 uh, of the SM6 family have been kind of our best sellers. They're, they're kind of thing I'd say probably put us on the map in the pro division. Lots of big records have been mixed on those. They've been out for 15, 16 years at, at this point. So they've been around for a long time and they continue to be our, some of our top sellers in terms of what, what's moving, what people are using. And, and uh, we're excited to announce an, a new twin or Solo 6, which we have here, a new Twin 6, which, which both use new tweeters, new drivers, pretty much a ground up redesign, but still looks sort of familiar um, to people who use us. But once again, just improving kind of the analog design. We don't use DSP. We don't use um, any of that. It's just pure analog acoustic design. And, and we feel like we've tremendously improved the product in terms of its performance uh, across the board. And then we have a new big brother sub to add to the family called Sub 12. So new drivers then, what's different? Yeah, so on the surface, it looks really similar. And as you can kind of see here, we, we have this, we use what we call a W sandwich cone, which is uh, a polymer or a, a, a open cell foam that, that we design here at house and sandwiched between two layers of glass. This is sort of the same material that, that we used previously, but we've changed everything on the back side of that. But we've also changed the thickness of the driver, the cone angle of the driver. Uh, we've added this thing called TMD around the outside edge of the, the surround, which reduces distortion between one and 3K by up to 50%, depending on the frequency. Once again, just making the driver more dynamic range, more detail, an overall more flat response. Um, we've increased the, the height of the voice coil 20, over 20%. So we have much further bandwidth now too. So this driver will actually go all the way up to 10K, which is really useful for our, our focus mode. So we've added this focus mode to, to the solo and the twin, like you're familiar with our, our three-way designs. But the three ways, they go from a three-way to a two-way sort of solution. Now this driver will go all the way up to 10K on its own. So we can now go from a single two-way solution to a one-way. So we kind of have a hi-fi sound cube, if you will. Um, sort of experience it's all foot switchable and your full range experience in one box no dsp all analog yeah so if your dri main driver now goes to 10k does that mean you've shifted the crossover frequency yeah, upwards so there's a dedicated set of crossovers in the box uh for that specifically so it's 120 hertz all the way up to 10k is where it limits that band bandwidth too wow awesome so you're getting the crossover frequency out of that key mid-range vocal correct correct yeah, yeah so if i'm already a fan of the vocal sound what would i notice it by moving to one of these new yeah, sets. So, so specifically, they're going to be a little more dead ruler straight. Once again, more dynamic range, uh, lower distortion, all those things, just making a better mousetrap, if you will. Um, but in terms of the sonic footprint of the speaker, the previous SM6 uh, had a little bit of bump in the low mid range that people either loved or they hated. Um, a lot of kind of our key users who've used those in the past, making big records on them, they know it's there and they dial it back. So the bottom end especially is super efficient, really, really dynamic, dead level straight. And in a box of this size, it's really hard to do because you end up with a lot of resonances. You end up with a lot of notes that are uneven on that low end. It's, it's really, really incredible just the, how, how neutral that they are. And, and, and overall, just the transient response is that much, that much tighter. You know? So feasible to use these for a lot of purposes without a dedicated sub. Yeah, of, of course. You know, we have a lot of people, depending on what you're working on, you may not need uh a subwoofer they go down to 40 hertz with them plus or minus 3 db so all the way up to 40k um so no need for a sub but obviously if you want to supplement with a sub we have a, a number of subs that can do that including the, the new sub 12. yeah so the new sub 12 is actually a 13 inch driver is that correct yeah so it's a 13 inch driver it's actually a little bit bigger than 13 inches but metric system you know uh we, we in the us they they call it inches because uh, i guess they think it's important but yeah a little bit bigger than 13 inches it goes down to to 20 seven hertz within plus or minus 3db a um, little bit lower than that even below but it falls out of tolerance a little bit um, it's uh, 125 db spl output at one meter so any immersive application you may have where you know you need a lot of power on on the bottom they'll certainly deliver there um, and complete complement of, of bass control on the back so high pass uh, for for your 
your satellites, low pass to, to dial that in your space. We have the variable phase control, so you don't just have 180 degrees of polarity uh, reverse. Obviously placing subs in rooms is a, a, a big challenge sometimes. And you typically either have to move the sub physically or you have to delay the output of your sub to, to match, to get it where you want it in the space. Well, now you can go from zero to 180 or anywhere in between with just a knob. So you can sit in position, place the sub closer where you like it with, with a lot less effort. Um, yeah, and it, it weighs 142 pounds, so it's, it's a beefy boy. <laughs> Very cool. So when I've got these fantastic new speakers, uh, you also have new ways for me to put them in my studio physically, I gather. Yeah, yeah. With Dolby Atmos and immersive formats becoming such a prevalent thing, we have a, a ton of rooms already in place. It's always been kind of difficult for us to implement the, the previous Solo 6 and those systems. We have to tap the cabinets or you know fi find ways to make that work. Now they just have uh, two dedicated M6 mounts on the rear, so you can use your favorite K&M or Triad Orbit, makes a dedicated plate, uh, ISO Acoustics, number of companies that you can bolt right up, hang it from the wall, ceiling, wherever you want with, with zero issues. Um, perfect for, for your high channels and your immersive system. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, any news on pricing and availability? Yeah, so so the so, the Solo 6 and the Twin 6 are available right now. Um, they, they've shipped to dealers, they're available. Um, $15.99 on Solo 6 US, $22.99 on Twin 6. That's uh, per pair? Per speaker. Oh, per speaker, Per speaker, okay. yeah, correct. And sub 12 comes at 25.99. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, yeah, Josh. Have you. a wonderful show. You too.